Hey everybody, uh, good morning, welcome back. Um, not a cooking video. Uh, you can see I got the pit barrel out right now. I, I am shooting a video, but this video isn't for that. But uh, pit barrel cooker's out right now, or the modified pit barrel cooker, I should say. Um, this video is not gonna be an in-depth instructions video, but it is gonna be a video of me putting together a, uh, a UDS. Got a 55 gallon drum here. Uh, I ordered a kit um, from udsparts.com, I believe, uh, yesterday, last night, and uh, I will post a link to the kit that I ordered. But uh, there, I do have some dimensions on how I can start drilling this out, and uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, just kind of drill the holes and uh, burn it out. Um, so, but besides that, um, like I said, not a how-to video. Uh, if you want to see a great how-to video on how to install this kit, go over to uh, Texas Style Barbecue and uh, Cuisine. Uh, Johnny is the guy's name, or Chef Johnny. Uh, he does a very good instructional video on how to put one of these together and where to drill your holes and everything. So uh, besides that, I'm going to get the drilling and uh, I'm going to get the burning. So stay tuned and I'll just kind of, you'll kind of join me in my uh, my UDS journey. So come on along. Um, I got this drum marked how I want to use it. I'm kind of just using this, uh, this saw or whatever you want to call it. Um, just as a stability, just so it doesn't roll the one way. Uh, so basically, the way I mark this thing up is I'm going to drill... A total of eight quarter inch holes and the first quarter inch hole is going to be located seven inches from the top that's going to be from my grill grate uh, i marked it four different spots evenly spaced around the barrel and then my second hole i'm going to drill the second level is going to be 17 inches which is about midway not quite but pretty dang close to midway of the drum and that's going to be for my diffuser plate uh, the good thing about this is is i have you know two 22 inch rubber kettles and then i have the uh 22 inch weber smoky mountain and the grill grate is about perfect, it fits perfectly in here. And I also have the fire dial, which is a little smaller than this. But what I'm going to do a lot of the, I think what I'm going to end up doing until I get a different diffuser plate, is I'm just going to put a grill grate right here, and I'm going to put the diffuser plate on top of that. And then it'll be somewhat um, indirect, I guess, you know, in a way with the way that that fire dial set up. So, and then I got my two intakes. I'll get the drill in those. But I'm just going to go ahead and get drilling. Um, if you're not comfortable using power tools, do not use them. I highly recommend you wear your PPE, uh, safety glasses for sure. So we'll go ahead and mark these holes, or drill these holes. They're quarter inch holes from the directions I read. mark the inlet holes uh, these are one and a half inch uh, in diameter OD and this bit will grab a little more than the other ones with the pop through Obviously the, the lid um, or the kit comes with a handle, but uh, for now that's going to be all the holes I'm going to drill. Um, there is a, another hole that a lot of people put in for a temp gauge. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put the temp gauge in just because I never really even look at the temp gauge for one. And then for two, um, I'm just going to buy some Weber Smoky Mountain gaskets, uh, the little temp probe things, and I'm going to install a few of those on here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a fire going and burn this thing up. some wood cut up just got a couple uh, scrap pallets I got a, ch a chimney full of charcoal going um, never I'm not gonna use lighter fluid in this I know I have started my pit barrel cooker with lighter fluid a lot um, I think it's turned out some pretty good food uh, so I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason I think you're probably just fine and you know as long as you wait for the lighter fluid to burn off but 
there's gonna be no lighter fluid in this barrel whatsoever. So chimney gone with just a little bit of, uh, I had just a little bit of some Royal Oak uh, lump left and then I threw some Weber briquettes in there as well. But I'm gonna kind of show you the barrel quick. I'll, I'll show you one thing because there is a seam on this and I'll show you how I picked uh, where I picked uh, you know my front and center to be. So just hold on a minute and I'll show you. All right, so this is, uh, you can see down here, I have an inlet hole and over there I have an inlet hole. So pretty much we are dead center. Um, right here now if you look at this barrel this barrel is in pretty good shape It's never been used before but it is uh, you know, it's a 55 gallon drum You know, there's uh, there's some defects to it You know, it kind of is what it is But the one thing I didn't want to do and I don't know why but I didn't want to drill through that uh, for some of the videos I've been watching so what I did was I just marked a center point on the back about however far this is from there and Then I don't know if you can see it or not right there and then I came around front and mark that as my center point and then uh, that's how I picked you know where those two inlet holes are gonna be uh, also you can notice that over here is some uh, some raised lettering on the drum and I just I didn't want that to be in the front uh, this is a UDS I haven't decided how uh, in detail I'm gonna go with painting this thing yet but you know I just there are some things I didn't want to have so now I'm gonna go ahead and let this chimney start uh, burning and uh, we'll pick back up when we got a fire going all right, we're back, burning her out. Uh, I got a fire going. Uh, I did put the WSM ring in there. I don't know why I just did. I've never used it in the actual WSM uh, that I can remember because I got the uh, the Cajun Bandit um, taller, you know, like the extended ring uh, right away when I got my 22 inch. So I put that in there. Um, no rhyme or reason, just did it. And we're burning it out. Um, gonna get this thing, obviously it's pretty freaking hot already. Like I'm warm just standing here. But uh, I'm going to pretty much burn all the wood I got over here uh, out in this barrel, burn it off real good. I'm going to guess most of that paint on the outside will probably come off and uh, it'll make maybe a little less work for me. And then any kind of imperfections or impurities that were on the inside of the barrel as well um, will also burn off. I think um, when it gets towards the end of this, I'll probably put the lid on and just take both the bunghole covers off and uh, let that lid burn off as well. Uh, I did take that, there was a rubber seal in that lid and I did take that off of the heat gun yesterday. I did not show that on video, but uh, there's plenty of other UDF videos that show people doing that really easy. Just hold the heat gun on the bottom of the lid and just peel it off nice and slow and it takes out the seal and the adhesive at the same time. So now besides that, I'll check back in uh, when this is dying down and just kind of show you what the outside of the barrel looks like. And I should add here at Mad Horse Barbecue, we do firmly believe in safety and I do have a 50 foot garden hose readily available in case this gets a little too out of control. So see you in a little bit. Alrighty, so we are back. Uh, we've been burning for about two, three hours. We've got Juliet there. Come here, Park. We've got Parker boy here. Notice they both got nubs because they both got happy tail at one point in time and i don't know for any of you who have uh, pit bulls uh, happy tail means that their tail just goes back and forth and it gets broken open and flings blood everywhere but uh got them amp or got them uh, docked or whatever but anyway it's been burning for probably about three hours still got a big old hot bed of coals in there uh this is still going to continue to burn out but you can see what the uh, heat uh did to the paint uh, it's going to make it a lot easier to sand down to bare metal and get it ready uh for some paint um you can see it's got some Got some spots on the bottom that I didn't get all the way, but it, it's not going to be that hard to get the rest of that off. Um, like I said, I'm going to let this burn out the rest of the way. Uh, it's still piping hot. What I think I'm going to do is I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not. I don't see why not, but what I think I'm going to do here in a little bit once the fire dies on this a little more is I'm going to take the cover, take the bunghole covers off, and then put the cover on top of the drum and let that uh, burn that paint off as well. And yeah. That should be about it for today because this is going to stay hot. This is, you know, that coal bed's going to take quite some time to burn down. So, yeah, until we get this thing further prepped, uh, I'm going to sign off and, uh, I don't know, pick back up at a later date.